This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff. See so the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking. See I'm analyzing that data. Like I tell every day, the data they release us is false. I'm going to give us a false narrative to market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen. Two JP Morgan, well, ex-traders, were given one year in jail and two years in jail for spoofing. And this spoofing allegedly occurred between 2008 and 2016. Matter of fact, we don't have to see allegedly anymore because they were convicted. Now, if you talk to the SEC right now or FINRA or DTCC or any of our regulatory agencies, and tell them that they are spoofing AMC, they will tell us that spoofing doesn't exist. While at the same time, they're locking people up for spoofing. Yo, it's absolutely crazy how dumb they really think we are. They think we don't have basic common sense. But here's the, the, the bad part about this, in my opinion. And I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell any stock. I'm not telling you to use jp morgan or, or not to use jp morgan i'm gonna tell you what brokerage to use i'm just telling you this all the people that they manipulated or spoofed and manipulated the price of gold and silver between 2008 and 2016 are those people getting the money back that was stolen from them during this eight year period of course not they got an eight year run they probably made billions of dollars and they get a year in jail and two years in jail and I think a $35,000 fine. I mean, you got people who aren't criminals who would do a year or two years in jail for an eight-year run and pocketing a billion dollars. I mean, <laughs> there's a lot of people that would trade a billion dollars for two years in jail. But let's bring that back to what's happening right now. The fraud and corruption in AMC, GME, MULN is overwhelming. So if we use the same timeline, if we use the same timeline that these guys are using right now, we're saying that we're in 2023. So they stopped their crime spree in 2016 and they were held accountable in 2023. So in 2030, there's a possibility that the guys that were naked short in AMC, GME, MULN, and Robin Retail Investors, in 2030, they might be brought to justice. And what makes it even worse, it'll be the same thing with these gold spoofers. The people that were robbed in 2023 by these criminals robbing in AMC, GME, and MULN, they will never get back their money. These guys will rob and steal from retail investors 2021, 2022, 2023, and in 2030, when they might be held accountable, and they might get a year in jail or two years in jail. But the people who lost billions of dollars during that time period will never, ever see their money back. Explain to me how that's justice. Anyway, leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think it's fair for somebody to rob for eight years and then seven years later get a minor fine and a minor and a minor jail term for the crime and the people that they rob are never made whole. How is that justice? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate you on this journey with me.